Oh my goodness. Reloading. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up hatch strafing on the DualSense 5 PS controller. So if you have any other controllers, um, you can still, you know, apply the same concept, but this is mainly focused on the DualSense 5 controller. So some things might feel weird for other controllers, but for this one should be okay. So in my opinion, you should get this controller if you want to improve your gameplay. Personally, for me, I've seen my gameplay and aim improve a lot more since using this controller. Now, this controller is one of the best controllers out there for gameplay wise. Why? You have two buttons right here. You can program for something, um, up to you. Six buttons you can select on the touchpad. Two back pedals. Um, these are the big ones, uh, and these are the small ones. Trigger stoppers, three levels. And also, for stick drift, if you have lots of stick drift, you don't have to buy a new controller, you can just remove the joystick and buy another one. Each joystick is like $20, US dollars. I'm not sure of any other currency, but for US, it's $20. Yeah, you can either order it through the PlayStation Store or website or on Amazon. So let's set it up. You open Steam. Go to Apex Legends. Oh, before that, there's this program, DSX. This helps remap binds on your back pedal. But that was back then when the um, controller was released so it might not apply but if you want to check it out or if you want me to do like a um, tutorial video on how to like you know use it let me know in the comment section but for right now let's just go focus on apex go apex here control layout uh, right now gamepad so by default if you haven't touched anything with the control layout, you should have like a simple default gamepad layout. If you don't, if you want to like, you know, restart it, you can just go click on this. Uh, these are my layouts. Go search and put game uh, gamepad and then uh, you should see here, something like this. Yeah, just this, not this one. Um, anything else you see here, these are just on my files, so you guys won't be able to see it. Just my MX Reefing Binds. Alright, so yeah. So once you click on it, boom. And you can view layout, so that this is how it looks like. Alright, so you see here, um, you can disable the back buttons if you want. So there, see no back buttons and all that. Press this, it activates. This is the left back pedal. This is the right. This right here, FN on both sides, left and right. These are the FNs. See? Right FN, left FN. All right, keep in mind, remember. So this one's uh, this one right here. And then this one would be this button right here. All right, so let's go edit. Joystick. Left joystick. Great mode shift. Where is it? Oh, right here. You have to change this, the mode shift, to the directional path. Up, W. S A L or oh, I 
say L, D. All right, so once you do that, go here. All right, I'm gonna give you the default or the basic one. So most people for basic usage, they use regular press, settings, turbo on, repeat rate all the way down. And honestly, I haven't like really seen the difference with this interruptible on or off. So let's just leave it on for now. So you do the same thing for every single one. Every single one. All right, so once you've done that, well, let me remove the controller real quick. So once you've done that, go here. You have to do this button right here, most shift button. So that way it activates the tab strafing. Let's just put it on joystick click. All right. Personally, if you're starting tab strafing, just leave it like this. And if you want to like improve, then just mess it around later down the road. Because honestly, if you mess with the overlap region and then dead zone, it's all personal preference. And you have to have this haptic intensity overwrite on use activator settings. Don't put it on anything else. All right, so once you've done that, boom, go out. And keep in mind, if you're like, um, you know, using the left joystick in game, whatever binds you have it in game, um, by default, it won't be activated because of the tap stripping. So let's just go in game. We'll check it out. Oh, reminder. So right now I'm going to show you guys in the prime range, me tap stripping. All right. So, but these are the binds that I have set up. So that way you guys can know what I'm doing. So my left back pedal is crouch, my right is my jump, left FN is uh, switch weapons, and right FN is square. Alright, so left FN, right FN. So let's pick up two weapons. So you know by default, here, check out the, this layout that I'm using. This is what I'm using right now because uh, I'm not changing my personal layout. You don't have to copy this. I'm just showing you what, um, which button I'm pressing. So, so my square. Going to phase. With my Q. This one, switch weapons. This one, crouch, jump. So my right paddle is jump. My left is crouch. This button, left FN, switch weapons. This button right here, that uh, would be my tactical, right? Void running. You could also bind on this touchpad right here. So this is my select menu or inventory so right now whenever I press the joystick I whenever I jump it activates Holy moly. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah. That's the basic gist. If you guys want to do like a more advanced dev tutorial, then I'll gladly do it. Right now I'm just doing this uh, basic one. Hopefully it helps. Yeah, I need to work on it honestly. But yeah. If you have any questions, you can leave in the comment section or 
can stop by on my stream on Twitch whenever I'm live and I can gladly answer any questions related to uh, setting up Tastrafe on the DualSense 5 controller. <laughs>